I'm Michelle from Legal Suite, and this is part one of how to complete the DocGen database for a transfer matter, completing the general screen. Now, please note that I've already captured my transfer with all the relevant parties, and we are now going to complete the first bit of the DocGen database. So, standing on the matter, we click on the DocGen database icon, and it opens up with the general screen active for us. Now, you will note that various items are already completed for me, and this is because I have used the setup defaults feature. If you need assistance with this, please have a look at our webinar on how to set up defaults for transfer matter. Okay, so at our type of transfer, we have four options. We have conventional, which is um, an earth or an urban. We have our sectional title option. We have leasehold, and we have a share block conversion to sectional title. So if I select conventional, this will give me all the screens relevant for completing a conventional transfer. Now at deeds office, my default is set to the Cape Town deeds office, but if I'm registering outside um, of the Cape Town office, uh, deeds office, I can click on the drop down menu and have access to all the other deeds offices in the country. Exactly the same applies to the local authority. The city of Cape Town is my default. However, if I'm applying for rates clearance in, in any other municipality, I can click on the drop down menu and select any of uh, the options from the list. These are all the municipalities that are currently live for applications for rates via the ratesclearance.com website. Provinces Western Cape, uh, if you do change your deeds office, please remember to also change uh, your province to the relevant province. At tracking number, this would be your deeds office tracking number. So as soon as you have your barcode information, please insert your barcode details here. And this is obviously for tracking your matter through the deeds office, through the various processes. Now, at transaction type and cause of sale, this has come through from my initial capturing uh, when I initially took on the matter. So my transaction type is a transfer. If it's anything other than a transfer in terms of conventional property, this is a predefined list. You can then choose the relevant option from the list. I'm going to leave it at transfers for now. My cause of action, again, this is my default. However, if, if my sale is anything, or my transfer is anything other than a sale, I can select items from the predefined list, and this will obviously make various other options available to me. At details, this is an ordinary conventional transfer. Again, click on the drop down list, and if there's anything other than an ordinary transfer, please make the relevant selection from the list. It's not an endorsement, this is a transfer by, by means of a sale agreement. Okay, on the right hand side of the screen, if there's a bond to be cancelled, if the seller has an existing bond, we can put the tick in the relevant checkbox, and at existing bondholder, we can select. From the list. Now you will see that the FNB group as well as HIP and Nedbank appear here and this is because these financial institutions require you to apply for cancellation figures electronically and you will note if I select any of these options the cancellation figures will be made available to you on the left hand side of the screen. At the new bond to be registered in the event that the buyer is registering a new bond we'll put a tick in the checkbox and again, at the drop down, you will note that APSA, HIP, and Nedbank appear. And this is because these particular financial institutions require you to apply for guarantees electronically. And again, if I select one of the options, you will see that the request guarantee option is made available to you, and you can apply for your figures, uh, sorry, for your guarantees electronically. Okay, in the event that your matter is a sectional title matter, you can put it spot in the radio button there, and all the details for your Section 15b3 certificate will be made available to you here. Body corporates, for second and further phase transfers, your body corporate will exist. Units are always rated separately, so those are your basic selections, and you also have other options with regards to rights of extension and whether or not your seller is a developer in the event of the first phase transfer. So by selecting these various options, this will put the relevant details on your Section B3 certificate for your conveyancer to sign. If the matter is a leasehold matter, these are prevalent mainly to Kozili Natal. This has the same kind of properties as a conventional matter. And if it is a share block conversion, conversion from a share block company to a sectional title matter, if you select the share block option 
as with a sectional title transfer, you have the options for your conveyances 15B3 certificate.